Hello, this is Tim Long from Tim Tech Astronomy, and I would like to talk today about automatically versioning your code when using Platform IO, which is a really nice IDE for Visual Studio Code. And in particular, we're looking at Arduino code, but it could be any of the platforms supported by Platform IO. But um, for the purposes of this video, it's Arduino code and the end game that we're looking for is to get this um, hash defined semantic version and then the version string into a header file. This one's in version.h. And um, this version number comes from a program called git version, which looks at my git commit history and automatically infers a version number from that commit history. Now you can see down here we're on the develop branch in my, my repository so that makes this an alpha release and it's, it's calculated version 010 alpha and commit 31 along that branch. So um, it's very nice to be able to generate version numbers automatically like this. And as I say, that's done by Git version. I have another video about Git version on my channel if you're interested in that. And um, I'm also using the Git flow branching strategy, which is just a set of conventions. I also have a video on Git flow. Um, so this is the end game to get this version string in a header file automatically as part of the build process. So the secret source to doing this is this uh, PowerShell script called generate version. And it's got a couple of parameters that you can specify, namely the, the output file is the file you want to write. And it defaults to version.h in the current directory. And the project directory is where your git repository, your .git folder is uh, located. And in most cases, these will both be the current directory. Um, so basically this script works by calling git version and piping the output into the JSON converter. So we end up with um, this dollar git version variable containing a JSON document and we can just dot into that and access the properties. So um, basically, uh, I'll just show you what git version does. Um, Okay, so um, I'm just using the integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code. This is a PowerShell console. And I can say, uh, I can just type in, in the working directory where my Git repository is, in my working directory, just type in Git version. And that produces this JSON document that you can see here which contains all types of version information. And the one we are interested in is this one here, semver. And that's the one that appears in my header file. So um, that's what that does. And so basically, once we've read that in, we can pull out the semver by just dotting into it. So git version dot semver into this semver variable and major version and minor version likewise. And then it just literally creates the output file, set content, um, overwrites a file, uh, replaces its content. And so I just write out a couple of hash defines into the file and that's it. And then some debugging gets put out to the console and that's that. So it's a really simple script and the end result is that you get this header file produced, which you can only include in other parts of your code. So how do we wire this up in the, as part of the build process? So that's done in this case in platform io.ini. Now, if you're using um, Arduino, uh, if you're using the Arduino IDE or the um, Visual Micro plugin for Visual Studio for, for making Arduino code. Um, there's a, I have another video in which I explain the process for that, but here we're talking about Platform IO. So in the Platform IO .ini, um, the secret source in here is you need a build flag. So here's one I've just included longhand um, manually. But this line here, the exclamation mark at the front means run this program, capture the output and define that as a build flag. OK, so um, now 
what what will the output be if we just go back to the PowerShell script again you can see it has this write host line here it writes out dash d semantic version equals semver so that's going to be as well as being in the version.h file it's going to be a defined um, thing that you can use in hash define or hash if um, preprocessor directives and it's defined on part of the build command line there so so basically um, this runs the powershell script in a non-interactive uh, um, process and it passes in the project directory as the current directory and the output file as include slash version dot h because it's in an include subdirectory and then these build flags are used let's take this um, um, Arduino Nano 33 IoT build environment here um, is just referenced there by by copying in common env data dot build flags so whenever this build runs this PowerShell script will run it will generate the version dot h and it will output a dash d semver defined symbol on the command line um, so that's it that's how you wire it up and um, I've uh, I don't think there's any point showing you a build because there's nothing visible that comes out um, but um, what I can do um, I have some code I've already built which uses this and I'll just get up a console uh, a serial console in putty okay so um, I have a nice command that I can run in here called system version okay so we can put in system version and then that will return from my uh, target hardware the version string that was compiled in and as you can see it's 010 alpha.31 um, which is that string right there and that's where it comes from so whenever you commit in git i don't think i've got any outstanding uh no i've got no outstanding commits at the moment but um, every time you commit this this version number will increment in some way so it will in this case go up to 32.32 .32. so uh, um, in semantic versioning anything that's got a, a major minor patch and then if there's a dash that means it's a pre-release build and anything after that dash is just um, informational and doesn't count as part of the version basically um, so that's it and um, the, the really nice thing about doing it this way is that you never have to manually set your version number if you follow the git flow um, workflow um, your version numbers what your releases and everything will just fall out of your commit history and it works really really nicely so that's it that's how to automatically version your code in platform io i've been tim from tim tech thanks for watching and goodbye